William Fraker, could you describe the special problems in shooting that incredible car chase sequence in Bullet? The Peter oh, yes. Yates film, the, the sh how you handle a scene like that. I would love to, as I was saying before, that I always happen to, to follow some terrific cameraman and have to come up to a certain standard. And I guess that's why you do what you do. Yeah. Uh, I follow Dougie Slocum, whom I adore. Okay. Uh, Peter Yates had made a film, and this is in the film he was preparing called Bullet with Steve McQueen. Uh, followed uh, the film he had made in England, and a film called Robbery. In Robbery, the first 20 minutes, the first two reels, <coughs> were, uh, there was a, an extraordinary car chase, a magnificent car chase with old-time Jaguars, 65, 1965 Jaguars, or 63 or something like that. And uh, so I saw the film, and I thought that was extraordinary. I loved the film. We, Peter and I started to talk, and we'd go up to San Francisco, and we, and we decide there was going to be a tremendous car chase in Bullet. So Peter and I are talking one night, and, and uh, he said, what should we do, Billy, on the car chase? And I said, well, I said, you did such a beautiful car chase in robbery. Why don't we do what you did there? Uh, how many frames did you shoot? And I said, well, uh, he said, well, we shot uh, at 24 frames. I said, you didn't speed up the camera? You didn't? Uh, he said, no. And I said, that's marvelous. Well, how fast were the cars going? And he said, uh, 65, the fastest they could go. They couldn't go any faster. I said, the cars were only going 65 and you didn't speed up the camera? I said, that was fantastic. Because it looked like they that's were going about 85, didn't they? 85 or 90. Yeah, yeah. And I said, that's fantastic. I said, Peter, that's it. And he said, uh, what, did we shoot uh, at 65 <laughs> miles an hour? I said, no, 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 no. I said, I said, we shoot at 24. And these cars can really move. So the cars move 100, 110, 115. But we shoot at 24 and we don't cheat. He says, brilliant. Brilliant. So now we've got one phase that worked out. The other phase is that how do you take an audience and put them inside the car? Yeah. And I think that's what really worked in the chase sequence. Yeah, we were in there. Yeah. You actually were riding in that chase. And the hills up and down in San Francisco helped. Uh, the other thing is that we literally mounted the, uh, the camera inside the car like they had done in robbery. Before, you were always the objective, you always had the objective viewpoint. You were always outside the car. You want a corner, a car went by and you panned with it. You panned around the corner, or coming to you and going away from yeah. you. But you were never actually riding in that automobile. Those car mounts that we developed uh, uh, in, in San Francisco for Bullet uh, have been standardized throughout the, the whole world today now. Car mounts? Yeah, the for, car mounts, special for, car mounts. For viewers, could yeah. you describe that? Well, the car mounts, uh, what we did in order to, to, to marry that camera to the car so that you wouldn't get the vibrations, you have to start to work off the frame of the automobile. So once you work off the frame of the automobile and attach the camera to the frame so you lock it in, the car bounces, and you literally see the car move up and down on a screen. It's just as solid as a rock because you're moving with the car. Of course. So there is no movement. Yeah. It's the scenery that's yes, bouncing. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But the car is solid. The car is solid. Yeah. And <clears throat> uh, uh, we would design each mount specifically for each shot, and they would build that mount right there in about 20 minutes. They had special apparatus that they built it. And we literally locked the locked the cameras in the cars with the actors and said, okay, go. McQueen did all his own driving, really? all of it, except for the very last shot where the car careens uh, into the gas station. Blows up, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Peter, we had a camera car, a special Corvette engine, 460 horsepower engine that would do 140 miles an hour. Uh, just a shell with a seat in front and a seat in back, eight inches off the ground, with a center post where you could mount the Aeroflex. And we used Aeroflexes. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that whole, that whole picture, bullet was shot with, complete with an Aeroflex. Aeroflex, again, for viewers, Bill, is, but... Is a, is a special type of, we call it like a, almost a handheld camera. It's uh, developed uh, out of Germany. Is it uh, like the Germany. Steadicam device that we hear about? No, today? yeah, no. It's, it's, it's just a little handheld camera, re really developed by the Germans uh, in the 30s uh, for a newsreel. So it gives very intimate and flexible variety. Oh, yes, you can do anything, anything with it. With you can do yeah. anything you want to do with it. And it's small also, as opposed to the large 
studio camera. And uh, uh, one shot I know that, that uh, we, by the marina in that chase, in the bullet chase, in San Francisco Marina, uh, Steve was chasing, was being chased by the, or was chasing the other car. And <clears throat> we were actually clocked at 124 miles an hour. I was eight inches off the ground in the front end trying to, to pan that camera, but the centrifugal force of that motion, I couldn't move. I couldn't, uh, it was almost impossible to exert that much. You, you don't have that much power in your body to, to, to push against the force of 125. The mass is so extreme, yeah. I was in the front trying to get a, 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 a side shot of, of Steve McQueen and saying, if I don't do it now, I don't, I don't want to go this fast ever again. If I told you now, I'm going to run home. I'm going to get, get out of here. I'm not going to do this again. And Steve and Peter Yates is in the back, filming, handling the other camera in the back. Oh. And, and we're both trying to wire in. And the oh. reason I know we went, we were normal, we're normally traveling about 90 miles an hour, about 95 miles an hour. And I could tell that speed because there's a certain pitch on the tires on the road, on, yeah. on, the, on the asphalt yeah. and macadam. And I had a certain whine. All of a sudden, we're moving down this, this marina, and all of a sudden, I see S Steve start to spurt ahead. And all of, all of a sudden, I, I hear a tremendous noise change on the pitch on the tires from lower to higher, yeah. and we're catching up with Steve. And I said, uh-oh, now I know we're going faster than 90 miles an hour. <laughs> and I'm trying to, trying to photograph Steve and I'm concerned about this tremendous noise, and I just see everything is whizzing by, whizzing by. At the end, I went to Pat Houston, who was the camera car driver. I said, Pat, how fast did we go? And he says, Billy, 124. What? And I said, that's it. I said, it's all over. I'm not. He says, wait a minute, Billy. Before you say anything, let me say one thing to you. In order to get this job and build this car, he says, I put <coughs> every dime I had in, into the car. I mortgaged my house to get enough money to buy. He said, Believe me, before I let anything happen to this car, I would commit suicide. Nothing is going to happen to this car. I said, okay, I buy that. If you mortgage your house, sold your wife, <laughs> took all your cash savings to build a car, I know nothing's going to happen to it. Okay, let's go. So I got back in and we went again. Gee. But I really trusted that man. Boy, how long to shoot? <laughs> it, took, chase? It, it took about five weeks to shoot the, the chase sequence because we could only tie, uh, tie up San Francisco for... Uh, like eight square blocks one day out of the week. And we oh. would literally tie up traffic and, and snarl that city. And the police would allow us to do it for one day. And then we'd have to wait for two or three days and come back and do it again and come back. So over a period of about five or six weeks, we did it. How much part, how much of the city would you use at any one time? Several streets? Cause the... Yeah, about eight square blocks. And would there be different, and would there be cameras in cars and cameras in, uh, on corners? Five cameras. But with know, the, almost... with, with your stunt drivers, McQueen, uh, et cetera, and the crooks, do like a whole run at once while oh. they were being picked up. Oh, yes, so They absolutely. wouldn't just keep going around a corner uh, no. 10 times. You know what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. <clears throat> we would only do it once. And <clears throat> what we would do <clears throat> is, is we'd choreograph. First of all, we'd drive in the cars very slowly, five miles an hour, every place that the chase was going to take place. Yeah. Then we'd park the cars and get out and we'd walk it uh, half a mile or a mile or whatever. We literally, with everybody, the stunt drivers, everybody was concerned, we'd, we literally walked it and saw where we'd have to put up uh, security guards and find out where, where, in order to prevent any kind of an accident, which, thank goodness, we there, didn't there have. We didn't have any. And uh, it was tedious and very, very tough, and those stunt drivers were, were magnificent. Within four inches of where they said a car would land, that's, that's why we could place the camera. You notice at the end of the chase, where the other car careens in the gas station and Steve's car comes and does it uh, right. roundy roundy and falls into a ditch. Yes. That was all actually done in one shot with, with six cameras. And I said, okay, I'm gonna put this camera here in this ditch. And he says, you got it. And that's, that's actually one shot. And that guy hit that he Is it the, two feet off of where he said he was gonna be. Is it that So far they're, they're extraordinary. Oh, my God. <clears throat> the well, chase, I think, was a sort of, you might call a genre chase for, <clears throat> for a lot of chases to follow. Uh, <clears throat> oh, the French Connection? Oh, Evans yeah. is one. Well, and, and marvelous, marvelous yeah. chases. But we started a whole thing that, 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 that went into television and, and went on and on and on and on. And I was telling a little story before about when 
when when French finally when John two. when when uh, John Frankenheimer did uh, French Connection two. I literally went up and kissed him on the side of the cheek uh, at the end of the picture because I said, at last, at last, you finished all the car chases because of the <laughs> foot race at the end of the picture with, with Gene Hackman.